Pre K. Good morning. Welcome to Creme de la Creme's virtual circle time. I'm Miss Zoe. I'm Miss Carrie. And we would like to welcome you today with our song. Can you guys stand up and sing it with us? Ready? From my head to your head, I wish you well. From my hands to your hands, I wish you well. From my heart to your heart, I wish you well. From my nose to my toes, I wish you well. Great job, everybody. We wish you well, and we are ready to start our day. As always, we're going to start it with our commitments. What are you going to commit to today, Miss Carrie? I am going to commit to being healthy today. I'm going to make sure that I make healthy food choices and make sure I wash my hands every time I go to get a snack or my meal. Miss Zoe, what are you going to do today? I am also going to commit to being healthy. I am going to go to bed on time tonight so that I get lots of rest and I am ready to go to school tomorrow. Friends, how are you going to commit to being healthy today? Can you think about it? Can you tell us how you're going to be healthy today? Those are some great ideas. Can you go ahead and toss them into our safekeeper box? Uh-oh. Okay, I think I got an arm. It's because I'm healthy and I exercise. All right, they are safe in our safekeeper box, which I'm going to set right here on the shelf so that you can be reminded of it all through circle time. Friends, another way that we can be healthy is to practice our conscious discipline techniques. Today, we're gonna to show you a new one because with everyone, so many friends staying at home, it can be a little overwhelming with all of the sounds and all of the activity and it's just constantly in your space. Sometimes we just need to step back, find our inner chill zone and take a minute to be by ourselves. And we're gonna practice the nighttime eye rest. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in through your nose and cover your eyes and you're gonna breathe in and you're gonna hold your breath for five seconds after you breathe in through your nose. And Miss Zoe, you count. thank you Miss Zoe. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale. Out through your mouth. Now again, friends, please remember that you're gonna breathe in from your diaphragm, which is the muscle down here by your belly. When you breathe in through your nose, that diaphragm pushes out. And when you breathe out through your mouth, that diaphragm muscle comes back in. So you're gonna remember that when you're holding your breath, five, four, three, two, one, exhale. You're gonna practice that three times to help you find your inner chill zone to relax and bring your focus back into what's most important. So we talked about covering our eyes to make it dark like nighttime. That is part of our theme this week. We are doing nighttime versus daytime creatures. Can you help me read our morning message? It says, nocturnal animals are active at night. Friends, the very first word in our morning message is nocturnal, which might be a new word for a lot of you. It's also our vocab word for this week. Nocturnal means that something is most active at night. Can you think of any animals that are active at night that you don't see during the day? I think we have some pictures to help us. So on our board, we have a picture of daytime and Nighttime. Can you help Miss Carrie sort the animals and where they belong? Friends, 
This is a picture of a hummingbird. Hummingbirds come out at daytime or nighttime? They sure do. They love daytime. You can sometimes see them around your bird feeders during the day. They love gardens. Friends, this guy right here, this guy loves to come out at nighttime. This is a bat. Bats love nighttime. Bats are my favorite animal. This one is one of my favorite animals. This little guy is called the sugar glider. He's a little bit like a squirrel. He's very small. Sugar gliders come out at night. Can you see some similarities between the sugar glider and the bat? I see that they both have fur covering their bodies. And although it looks like the sugar glider has wings like the bat, he actually doesn't. It's just extra skin that helps him glide from one tree branch to another while he's looking for food. Friends, this flyer is a compound word. Yep, dragonfly. Dragonflies can be seen around water. He comes out at daytime. Can we do our compound word song really fast in case anyone has forgotten? Ready? Dragon, 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 and fly, 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 dragon fly. Great job, you guys have such good memory. This word, word animal is also a compound word. Butterfly, you can see butterflies in the Daytime. Very good. This friend makes a fun noise. That's right. Hoo hoo! Mr. Owl loves to come out at night. Did you know, Miss Carrie, that owls can turn their heads almost 360 degrees? That means all the way around. Oh my goodness, I can't do that. I can't do that either. But it helps the owl be able to see most effectively, especially at night. I'm seeing some similarities between each of our animals. Can you tell? Look how brightly colored our daytime animals are. But how dark, dark our nighttime animals are. We can talk about that. This friend, oh, I'm not actually gonna call him a friend. I don't like this guy very much. He leaves bumps on my skin because he bites. This is a mosquito and mosquitoes come out mostly in the evening, that's right. Very good. Also, dark color. And last, last but not least, this is our friend the duck. Ducks can be seen swimming on ponds and waddling around on the banks of, uh, of the pond. He comes out at daytime. Miss Carrie, do you remember what we learned about last week when words in a sentence all start with the same letter? <gasps> There's a special word for that. It's alliteration. Right. Friends, do you think that maybe we could come up with a name for each of these animals that has alliteration. So for our hummingbird, hummingbird starts with H. Can you think of an H name for our hummingbird? Helena. Ooh. Helena starts with H. That is a very pretty name for our hummingbird. H for Helena. And H for hummingbird. Now this friend down here, the dragonfly. 
Dragonfly begins with the letter D. What name could we think of to give our dragonfly? Drake. I like that name. Drake. Dragonfly. Well done. This beautiful creature is the butterfly. Miss Carrie, that was alliteration too. Beautiful butterfly. I might have done that on purpose. What name can we give our butterfly? Hmm. Oh, that was an interesting one. Baldrick. Ooh, I like it. I don't know if I've ever heard that name before. It's fun to have different names. The duck. Duck starts with D. Can we think of a name that starts with D? Dakshi! We have that's a friend name. named Dakshi here in our school. We do. That's another unusual name. I like it. What about for our nocturnal creatures who come out at night? What names can we think of for our bat? B, B, bat starts with B. Very good. Hmm, what's a good name? I heard Betty. Oh, I love that. Betty begins with B. That's a very pretty name for a very pretty bat. What about for our sugar glider? Sugar glider. Starts with a sh sound. Can we think of a name with sh? Shauna. I heard. I like it. Hmm, an O name for owl might be kind of difficult to think of. What about Owen? Owen. I um, like that idea. I know it, Owen. And last but not least, our mosquito. Mosquito begins with letter M. Do we have friends whose name begins with letter M? Miguel, that sure does begin with an M. Bye. Great job thinking of alliteration animal names for our name game, friends. That was great thinking. Oh. oh just like we did here. What if you gave a name to the animals you see on your block? The same letter that the name of the animal begins with. So if you see a puppy, you could call it Pedro. Or if you see a bird, you could call it Brenda. Or if you see a squirrel, you could call it Samuel. That's alliteration. What if you did this the whole time you were out with your family? You tried to find a name for everything that you see. Mommies and daddies or your adult can help you do this too. You can make it a whole family project. Even if you aren't going for walks every day or if it's too cold or too rainy, you can look out your window and see what kind of creatures you can find. Or you can use your stuffed animals or pictures in a book to play your alliteration name game too. That is a very easy way to make the fun last all day. Not just when you're out walking, but also if you're stuck at home. If you are stuck at home because of the weather or if you don't have time to go for a walk that day, you can practice writing in your Fanny Adventure Journal and make a list of all your alliterative names. Why don't you see if you write numbers one through 10 in your Fanny Adventure Journal and come up with 10 names for our name game. It's a lot, but I think you can do it. Our friends are so smart. Friends, we're so glad that you were able to join us online today and we miss each one of you. So we're gonna put your lovely faces in our minds. We're gonna think of you. We're gonna move your faces to our hearts. And we're gonna wish you well. Until next time, I'm Miss Zoe. And I'm Miss Carrie. And we wish you well. Bye, everyone.